two minute warning. Good afternoon, Bleed Big Blue Nation. It's Jay Zach, the intern from the podcast. Now, today I want to come talk to you guys about Mel Kuyper and how now he has changed his mind. And this this is just recent, like just recent. His new mock draft, he has the Giants taking Saquon Barkley at the number two overall pick. So today I just kind of want to talk to you guys about how a lot of people I'm noticing now are starting to change their mind about Barkley. A trend I was noticing among Giants fans is at first everybody was super high on Barkley and then everybody for some reason switched back to quarterbacks and I'm noticing people who are super high on quarterbacks are starting to switch back to Barkley or just coming to Barkley in general. Now today everybody knows here if you if you follow the channel, if you follow the Believe Big Blue podcast and videos, you know that Jay Zach likes him some Saquon Barkley and Davis Webb, right? You guys know I like to talk about those two guys a ton, right? Now, a lot of people are thinking, well, how is Barkley going to run behind this offensive line? Penn State's offensive line was garbage, okay? And I'm pretty sure the Giants are going to draft, Nor- they're going to pick up Norwell from free agency, and we're going to make him the highest paid guard in the league. I'm super okay with doing that, all right? Some people think that we're going to grab Norwell and Sitton, which would be fantastic. But I, I believe personally the Giants, I think they're in the offseason, the free agency, we're going to find out what we want, right? We're going to go in there. We're going to we're gonna sign Noel Well, make him the highest paid guard in the league, right? Especially after the year he just had. So the thing is, everybody, that I, I, I'm a little scared here because definitely don't want Rosen. There's no quarterbacks besides Lamar Jackson in this draft and Baker Mayfield that I would like, right? The only quarterback I'd feel comfortable taking at two is Baker Mayfield. I would not take Lamar Jackson at number two. I would take Lamar Jackson in the second round. I wouldn't take him at number two. Even still, I don't really want that because Davis Webb is the guy. Davis Webb's the guy, right? So the thing is, guys, like back on back on talking about Saquon Barkley and how he can benefit this team, he ran behind a garbage offensive line, okay? We get nowhere on sitting. That's all we really need. I mean, I, th- I think, guys, we're, we're, we're sitting pretty good right now. But here's the thing. If the Browns are smart... If the Browns are smart, Barkley should not fall past number one. If the Browns are smart, they draft, they draft like one, right? And then they still have their choice of like two, three, maybe even three really good quarterbacks at the number four pick. Because the Giants might not draft a quarterback after that. If we're really not sold on the quarterbacks, Pat Shermer's not sold on him. And Davis Webb has been proving himself, literally. If you guys need to go watch that guy's Instagram, go look at that footwork. I'm a huge Davis Webb guy. He's come out and he's spoken about how he's talked to Pat Sherman. He has told them, look, I'm our guy. I'm the guy. I'm the guy to, to replace Eli. He's, he's coming out and he's proven. He's doing work, guys. So if they're sold on Webb and they're not sold on any of the quarterbacks in the draft, we're going to trade down. Uh, so if the Browns are smart, Saquon Barkley should not go any, any – he shouldn't even make it to us. But if the Browns are dumb – Saquon Barkley makes it to us. I say we draft him and we build around him and Odell Beckham Jr. and let Davis Webb just have fun with these weapons. Let Eli Manning have fun with these weapons, right? But uh, being that said, everybody keeps talking about this offense, including me. We keep talking about this offense, guys, but we keep forgetting that we have huge needs at defense. In fact, our needs at defense are bigger than our needs at offense, right? Defensive players are more expensive than offensive players. Well, some. Right, so and there's no really good defensive players coming out into free agency that we can that we can get. I mean, get Demario Davis, but I don't sure the Giants even want him. And even if we do, how much money is he gonna want? We have to sign Norwell. Norwell is our biggest priority in the offseason, guys. So, I got two questions, guys, leaving for, uh, for you all after this video here. Number one is who do you guys want the Giants to pick, or who do you want us to trade down? The second question to that is. Who do you think they're going to pick or what do you think they're going to do? So what you want and what you think the New York Giants are going to do. All right. I'll see you guys down in the comment section below. You guys make sure to tune into our podcast on Wednesdays, 10 p.m. Eastern. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Drop a like on this video for your favorite Bleed Big Blue podcast member, the intern, Jayzak. Right. Hit the notification bell if you haven't. You guys keep bleeding blue. I'll see you all later.